take a good hard look at this man. This man slaughtered over 50 people last night at a nightclub. Look at this smile, that smirk with his little selfie, his suit and tie looking all nice. A US official said that the Department of Homeland Security reports that this guy has actually pledged allegiance to ISIS and was even heard praying in another language in the nightclub. And if this is true, then it really doesn't surprise me. Since the religion of Islam is so rampant against any, per, per, uh, any sort of person who's against homosexuality, and this just proves that the LGBT community and religion itself, specifically in religion of Islam, is still rampant and needs to be fought against. Because this was a terrorist attack. This is one of the biggest U.S. shootings that has ever happened says the Virginia Tech. At this point, let's talk about gun control. Let's talk about what you and I can possibly do to stop instances like this. Because you know, the only time to talk about gun control is when a mass shooting happens, after the people are already dead. I mean, we do have laws in place, yet the people who, even if they get guns legally, don't follow those laws to begin with. Like in the Christina Grimmie case, right, the person had two guns on them, he also had a gigantic knife. So even if he didn't get the guns in, he was most likely still gonna fucking stab her. In the case, I think it was in Sweden or Norway, it was someplace up north, a guy took a sword to class, pretending that it was, you know, just a prop or whatever, and then he stabbed several st students and killed one of them. If people have an intent to harm people, they will do it. Whether or not they have guns, and yes, I do believe that we can take measures to make guns less accessible or less easy to obtain, but I want to give a proposition to you. What would you do? You, the viewer, the viewer who has an opinion, how would you change the current laws that we have in America, um, if that would even do anything, considering that almost every single American has a firearm? How would we stop them? How would we obtain all of those guns? Because... So many people think that we should just take the guns away. Well, how, how do you propose that we take millions and millions of guns away in this nation? You do realize that if we even did that, there would be an uproar and there would probably be even more deaths. Because in these types of situations, people always say, less guns, less guns, less guns, but they never offer an actual solution on how we can fix the problem of gun control here. And right now, the LGBT community needs to stand together because this is a tragedy from an insane terroristic man who worships Allah. Uh, and that just says a lot. And I don't give a shit if you're a moderate Muslim or extreme Muslim. I hate fucking Islam, hands down. You know, I'm not gonna apologize. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Because whether or not ISIS is a, uh, extreme religion, the religion of Islam itself is a barbaric, fucking disgusting religion. And I will never, ever defend Islam in any case. I mean, I'll defend a person's right to practice religion as long as it's not violent or doesn't infringe upon someone's rights. But let's be honest, whether you're a moderate Muslim or not, the religion of Islam, whether extreme or not, is a religion that then does not teach peace whatsoever. I um, mean, I've talked about this in numerous videos. I've went into great detail on just, just dissecting the Quran. I'm not going to do it here. But this is a problem. This is a terrorist who grabbed hostages and killed over 50 people, and that's... That's extraordinary to me that this could happen. We can't really seem to do anything to stop it until it's too late. I find it disheartening that we discuss gun control only after the big tragedies happen, and yet still nothing actually changes. So why do we get so worked up on gun control after people have died? Rather, in between these instances of these terrorist attacks, we can try to do something to change that. What do we have to do to change it? I don't know. But it's obviously a problem. The U.S. has a problem with mass shootings. To deny such would be insanity. And to any one of those crazy people claiming that this was an act of eliminating the gay gene, the gay disease, you are one fucked up person. Because whether or not someone believe, uh, has an ideology or a lifestyle that you may disagree with, to have their life taken simply because they're gay? You religious people really go to show how loving and how peaceful and how much you really care about other people.